did a little event here at my lodge. Um, uh, we tried to do something out here about once a week or a couple times a month. And um, there was multiple numbers of medical people that were here. Um, and one of the guys that I had here that uh, is local to me that I've uh, got to be good friends with is Dr. Ben Bowers. Ben's going to come on here. Ben has been a, a functional medicine doctor. He started out as a chiropractor, has been a functional medicine doctor for 38 years. Um, he's actually taught at Harvard. He's taught at Yale. He's taught thousands of doctors um, around the United States and probably around the globe. And uh, he just is like a walking encyclopedia understanding of what the body does. And also why we want Ben to come on here. Some of you have seen him on some different videos is, you know, he's got a bunch of patients that he's put on the fixed product for now uh, multiple numbers of weeks. Um, he's just going to talk about what he's seeing. Once again, I want you to remember the disclaimer. We're not making any claims. It just, um, I think one of the most astounding things, Ben, that you had told me and I was listening to you talk is what fix really does. It's like flipping all these light switches on in somebody's body and some switches are already on and some aren't on and it flips those on. And um, it a lot fix really is the name says it all. It's like, you know, what do you need fixed? And this could maybe support fixing that. And I know that really this is, uh, you know, about fat loss, but when we have fat that's around our main organs and that starts to go away and that rancid fat goes away, there's improvements in lots of different areas of our health because everybody's different. So Ben, thank you for taking the time and coming on here and sharing your, your just your wisdom. Um, and, uh, you know, just give us maybe a little bit of your history um, and then what you've, you know, how you got started here, but then, you know, you've really not only applied this in your own life, but you've watched it apply in a bunch of other people, you know, with other patients. So if you could just share with us for a little bit, that would be amazing. I think people would be uh, highly informed here. Super. Thank you, Byron. For me, for those of you who heard the story, I'll kind of explain that. Um, first of all, I've been in functional medicine for over 30 some years. I was even involved in the beginning of that type of uh, healthcare uh, way back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Um, it kind of goes back even before that for me as uh, being in healthcare and having some own personal experiences, why I wanted to become a doctor in the first place. And then my wife uh, had a very rare disease at that time. So it drove me into research to try to understand why does the body do what it does? And a lot of times we talk about in the clinic or when people come in to see us, or even on the phone or Zooms, I go, why does your body present the way it presents? And so when I was asked to come in, uh, evaluate what this uh, product was by a good friend of mine, a lifelong friend, him and his wife, uh, my joke is he tricked me. Uh, he knows I'm kind of like Dr. Sam. I you know, don't like to do MLM, don't like to do those kind of things. I think somehow it cheapens maybe a little bit in the healthcare world. Uh, that was just my opinion at the time. Uh, I had been involved in one other thing that was pretty phenomenal. So I told him I wasn't interested, and uh, don't you dare pull out the friend card on me. <laughs> so he said, okay, well, how about checking out for my wife, because she's got some problems. So long story short, I did, and I went out to Byron's Lodge, and I saw this little presentation. This was before the product even came out. And to be honest with everybody, I left there and go, oh, that's snake oil. I don't have to worry about that. I'll go home and tell my friend, you know, ain't going to work. And for those that have this bent of, of life where you listen to God or the Spirit, I feel like he told me that, no, I need to go home and check into this. So for me, I went home and I looked at it and I said, okay, I've done research since the 80s. I'm involved with research companies that we research a lot of different products. We research different labs. We research DNA. I do a ton of DNA work, uh, epigenomes on people to find out why is the body having the difficulties that it's having, right? And so when I went home and did my research that night, I just kind of dove into it. I said, well, let me see what the hops really do. I've, been, I've used them for years. I was aware of them. And I was real aware of the sleep uh, issue, of some of the estrogen aspects, some of the things that it actually calmed down. And what was interesting is I found some of the original research went all the way back to the 40s and the 50s when this was first uh, identified and actually a lot of research was done. And I literally spent hours researching this. And so when I looked at it, I came back and said, okay, in functional medicine, we always ask the question, what's wrong with the body? All right. Our objective is to find the it or collection of it's that are wrong with the body and say, can we somehow stop the, uh, the issue? Can we reduce it's what we call it's a, a, a aggravated effect or it's dynamic effect on it? 
And if we can do that, then can we stop it? If we can do that, can we eradicate it? If we can do that, can we repair the body of the damage that whatever the it was that did to the body? So I sit down and I started looking at what this adafite really is and what it really could potentially do. And what intrigued me was the research when I started looking at it. I'm going, well, primary thing this thing does is not only does it initiate the burning of fat, right, but it also goes after a bad fat, if you will. And we talk about all the different types of fats in the body. I won't go into all those different mechanisms, but we know what they all are. And I thought, well, one of the biggest problems of fat rancidity or the breakdown of fats that have been stored is they almost become poison-like. Now, I use that term cautiously. I don't mean it's a real poison, but it has the effect that the body attacks something like it would be a foreign invader. And the number one cause of that is a form of inflammation in the body. So when I started diving into the research behind this, I started looking at it and going, okay, if one of the things that this adophyte does or this extract, this excipient out of the hops flower has the ability to reduce a damaging effect, wouldn't that be pretty cool if it did that and burned white fat? So the more I dove into it, I started thinking about, okay, well, what are all the other things that this fat rancidity, rancidity or this excess fat really does to the body? Now, we can talk about a lot of different aspects of why the body chooses to store too much fat. We could say it's due to a dietary uh, component. You know, the food that we're getting now is forced food to feed different parts of our body and to stimulate hormone uh, issues to make you want more and more and more. And all those are true, but I'm going to kind of leave that alone for the moment. I'm going to talk about really what happens to the body when we look at what fat really does. Right. Now, when I started looking at that aspect, I said, well, one of the reasons we eat is we eat to have energy. Right now, if we eat appropriately and we eat fats, proteins and carbohydrates, the body knows what to do with those. And the fourth category of macronutrients, then it would be minerals. That's what the body needs to function correctly. So when I started looking at that, I said, OK, well, what happens to the fat base side that causes the body to store so much fat? Well, when we start looking at all the hormones that are responsible between what we put into our mouth and the time it hits our stomach, whether we are satiated, whether we are satisfied, whether we are full, or whether we are not. So we jokingly say that feeler button is broken because if you don't eat correctly or if you're eating incorrectly and you can't tell you're full, you just keep eating, right? Until finally some signal reaches through the brain and says, right? And so when I started looking at this, I said, okay, I understand a couple key factors about what the Adafite does. And it goes in the moment you put it into your mouth and it turns on these different receptors or it hits this chemical receptor that immediately goes to the brain, immediately goes to the stomach. One of the things I noticed in the research, it seemed to stop a metabolism issue. And I found that very unique and ironic because one of the things that this hops flower extract does it actually increases the metabolic effect, which we call that digestibility or converting the food you just ate into a usable form of energy. Now, once again, if you consume too much, then it goes and puts it in a storage tank and it's held in that storage tank. Well, then I also knew that all the other things that start happening in that storage tank was poisons, viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, uh, excess drug storage, all these different things that get in there, that becomes a problem. And so the body wants to go in and start correcting that mechanism the best that it can. I, I don't think anybody wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to overeat today so I can gain weight. That just isn't there. The, the real issue is, is what I'm eating is somehow not being able to be broken down and utilized correctly so that my body can operate in this God-given way that it can do what it's supposed to do. And if we look at all the different factors from people who have done diets, diets, I like what Dr. Sam said, the average is 19 to 20 diets people have tried before they come to us. And you look at that from certain types of diets to even starvation diets, all of a sudden we see a lot of dysfunction that's occurring. So when I looked at the Adify and I really started diving into this, I, I came up with what I call the big if word. I went back to another meeting with Byron. I said, you know, if this thing does what it really appears that it's going to do, I don't think we know what we have our hands on. And he kind of looked at me and he said, well, yeah, we know what it is. It's a fat loss uh, a, a product. And I'm like, yeah, but. 
what is fat? And so we started going down that pathway. So what I would did, I went back to my office and I sat down. And I said, okay, as a functional medicine doc, what is it that I'm going to look for to see what kind of results I get just besides fat loss or weight loss? Okay. Now I want to remind people, people say, well, you know, fat weighs more than muscle. And I jokingly say, well, a pound of fat weighs the same as a pound of muscle. However, the difference between the two is the size that it is. So if I held up five pounds of fat, it takes two hands to hold it. If I hold up five pounds of muscle, you could easily hold it in the palm of your hand. The difference is the space in which it takes up, number one. Number two, the difference is how it's actually utilized as a fuel resource. And so then we start talking about that muscle that had fat stuffed in it. Now we even have fatter muscle and that becomes a totally different story so when i started going back and look at all this i said all right what are some of the things i can ask my clients or patients after i start the, on this product what are they going to be able to tell me something's changing because i knew it was going to be a lot more than just losing weight or burning fat and the clothes fitting better right now we want that to happen let's you and i be honest that's all of us we want to see how do i look in the mirror how do my clothes fit am i making some changes a quick testimony for me is I've been on this seven and a half weeks and I've lost over 12 and a half pounds and over 22 inches of fat or girth measurements off of my body. So when I first designed this, I actually wanted people to measure themselves every week so I could see what was happening. And that worked for 50, 60, 70 people. A lot of people did really good on, but there is about five or six that it didn't work on. And that intrigued me even more. So I dug back into the research some more. And I said, okay, what is it that this research is really telling us besides just fat loss? Because see, it didn't tell me that people would have more energy, but that made sense to me. If I'm breaking down fat, I'm converting it over to a sugar-based component for fuel, I'll have more energy. But it didn't tell me so much that it was going to decrease their appetite. But it did if I go, okay, well, if I can turn on leptin, which is a hormone that regulates satiation or satiety that says I'm full, please stop eating, and it starts breaking down more, and I'm burning more fuel, then guess what? I don't have to keep filling up my gas tank because I have a constant flow of fuel coming into my tank, keeping me going. So I was going to start seeing more energy, more stamina. And people should start eating differently. And I want to come back to that in a moment because that's one of the critical things that I think we see that this product is doing for us. But then we start noticing the effects of eating, meaning you bring food in, it has to be broken down, and you excrete out the trash, right? So think about going to the store, you buy all these groceries, you come in and you make your meals, you have to take stuff out. So we talk about the excrement, whether the bowel moves would change, the urine would change, the sweating would change, the breathing would change. And one of the things I knew that as we broke down white adipose tissue, which is the actual tissue that we are converting here, and we'll talk about the brown adipose tissue, we'll talk about the visceral adipose tissue, the muscle adipose tissue, and then the subcutaneous adipose tissue. And when I knew that we were going to see changes in there, that's why I designed or said, okay, I'm going to go in and measure this body in 18 different places, and I'm going to see what happens. And then I'm going to see if I can go back and extrapolate out of that body, which everybody's body is unique. If I could go back and find out why that body choose to burn the fat off its chest versus its belly, versus its hips, its arms, its thighs, its legs, its wrists, its feet, I could start extrapolating back into over 1,100 systems of the body and figure out where that unique body's dysfunction was, right? So that's kind of what I went to this. I knew that breathing would become easier because when we think about that, uh, we breathe over 24,000 times a day, the average adult does. And so it's 24,000 in, 24,000 out. And I know that breathing out is one of the number one ways that things break down. I wanted to see what this would do. So I just came up with all these questions and just started asking all the different patients or clients or the people that I was working with and going, what are you experiencing? What are you seeing? But again, those four or five that saw no difference in four weeks really intrigued me. And so I went back into their cases and I went back into the research. I said, let me see if I can understand something that I didn't catch the first few times I went through all this research. And one of the interesting things I found is most of the research was done around a 12-week time frame. And then there's a few more that were done around a 16-week time frame. And by themselves, they look like they're separate. But when we did a comparison of those and we started noticing, well, first of all, the efficacy of the product of the Adify 
never changed through the entirety of that time frame. However, some people didn't notice much change until week six, seven, or eight. And then between eight and 12, they had an increase in the results of their receiving. And then I compared that to the 16 week people, which is another four weeks, obviously into the fourth month. And they even had more increase or more or better results that they were noticing. And it was kind of odd because it wasn't really laid out in that typical form, I mean, that, the typical form. But when I look at these double blind uh, uh, placebo controlled studies, the highest level of research that can be done that we're aware of in the scientific community and we start seeing all these role, I mean, all these results. I thought, what? what? What do we have? Do we just have a fat burning device? Well, if we do, what is that doing? How are we making changes? Right. So we start seeing funny things like people that had tremors were starting to reduce. People that had brain fog issues were starting to recall things better. People that are having trouble just getting up and walking were doing better. People that were having nerve control issues were doing better. People that are having autoimmune conditions, and I can give you a bunch of those, I won't go into that, but a lot of different types of autoimmune conditions are starting to change. And you sit back as a researcher, you go, wow, what do we really have? And what impact can we make on people's lives? So for me, it's like, okay, almost like Dr. Sam, it's like, boy, I got to go tell everybody I know because I don't know all of the results Every person's going to get another funny one for me. I, I got a person called me and goes, what is this doing to my hair? And I go, what do you mean? I go, it's shinier. I go, well, hair follicle, it's made of protein and fat. And if you have decreased rant, fat rancidity and you have good fat, I mean, I just went through this whole process. But then they start saying it's growing faster. My nails are growing faster. My skin rashes are disappearing. And I started looking at all these things. I'm going, wait a minute. How does that work? So I'd go back to all these systems, reduce blood sugar, having to reduce uh, medications, going back to their doctor and get their medications reduced and even stopped on some of them because the body is going back into its God-given innate ability and repairing itself. And we've talked about this in functional medicine. If we give the body what it's lacking and get out of its way, God created this body to do what it's supposed to do. And that is to survive and live and thrive. And if I can turn all those things back on, we can make a dynamic change. So those are the things I'm seeing, Byron. I'm telling you, it's just amazing. I, I don't know that we've seen all the benefits we're gonna see, but I know the longer we're on this and with my clients and patients, I say, give me six months, give me a year and let's see what this does for your body. Back over to you, sir. Hey, yeah, before you, before you run, Ben, uh, it's just, we're getting all these phone calls from people and you're right. It's everybody is different. I mean, it starts with the fat loss and obviously we, the study showed that, but um, I really, uh, I think I hope everybody heard here that this is not something that you do for a couple of weeks to see if it's going to work. And also the scale is a very poor measurement of what is actually really happening. Um, you know, I your know your friend you think, or your enemy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it seems like we have people that are also going up in their lean body mass um, with this, which means the fat is going down, but the lean body mass is going up. So the weight is not changing. Um, I've also been, there's been some people that have said, um, I feel like I'm gaining water weight when I'm doing this. Is there like a detoxing effect that's yeah. happening here? Could you just address that very quickly on what you've witnessed? Yeah, let me let me do a couple of things here on that on that note for sure. First of all, we understand that the scale is not the thing to be on, right? Because if you look at decreasing fat, the size of the fat actually is what gives you the girth measurement, right? But when you decrease the fat out of the muscle, all the different scans, all these different things says, oh, I have leaner muscle, which means I'm reducing the lighter portion of the weight, which is the body, but I'm increasing the muscle mass of the body. Therefore, I don't see a change in the scale. But if you look long enough or take it long enough, you'll see that the clothes are starting to get looser and looser, right? So my losing 22 inches, I'm down two jean sizes, a shirt size, and 
And yet my weight's only gone down 12 pounds in all this almost two months. So the difference is, is I'm becoming leaner, literally in my muscle and in the fat as well, all right? The other issue that we found in some of these cases that, I, that I'm watching on this is that when we put this in, one of the first things that we're gonna start seeing that I, I noticed on this was, first of all, it's gonna identify the problem and provide a solution. Now I can go into all the, the physiology that I won't tonight, but the issue is it's gonna to try to clean the system up. I talked about what was stored in those fat cells, the adipocytes, right? And if we shut down adipodectinate, which is a hormone that creates new fat cells. So that's a key thing, turning that off. So you're not producing new fat cells. And then you take those fat cells and you start squishing and getting the debris out of there. You're gonna pull out toxins. You're gonna to pull out all these different things. And so that is a form of detox. Well, the moment that happens, the body says, I need more fluid. Bring in more fluid so I can flush or wash all that debris out. And I'm seeing it taking you from 7 to 10 days up to even 14 days. And I'm going to say on normal people, so don't anybody please take that wrong. But people that are having difficulties or dysfunctions within their body, that is what is taking longer. Three and four and five and six weeks that I'm starting to notice before they flush all that debris out. And now all of a sudden, the body says, okay. We've gotten rid of all of the debris. We've broken stuff down. Now, as we break down more debris, we'll get that out. Which brings up two more things I want to talk on real quick here. Number one, the research says that if you drink alcohol, it tends to increase the efficacy of the adiphyte. And I went back to look at that, and I looked at that in the iso acids. There's an alpha and beta, so think of like a three-legged stool. When all three of these things are in that system, they're all doing different things to speed that process up. Now, I'm not promoting going out there and drinking a ton of alcohol. Most of that was on two to four ounces of alcohol or eight to 12 ounces of beer. But within that realm, we saw an increase in the effectiveness or the efficacy of that adiphyte breaking down more of that stored fat tissue, number one. Number two, we also noticed that those who did some form of physical activity, and whether you want to talk about a 15 to 20 minute uh, event, high intensity, or just walking, not just a slow walk, but an increase in the speed, if you did that twice a day, we saw even more effectiveness in breaking that down because now the muscle, which is actually what designed to burn down that stored fat, it increased its ability to burn down the muscle adipose tissue, and then it went to the subcutaneous adipose tissue and started breaking that down, which led me to the third thing then. I go, okay, it's changing how we eat. And so I went back and looked at that and I said, okay, if I can learn to eat smarter or cleaner, is like what we like to say in, in healthcare or folks in medicine, and I can have physical activity and want to have the nightcap, let's just say that, I've got a trifecta in there of the trifecta of all the things that are coming out of the hops flower, and that tend to speed the process up, right? If I put two snaps in a day, all that just worked a lot better. And that's the greatest results that I'm seeing. So once the body has identified where the issues are and we clean that out, right? Or clean it up in this case, and we start the motility of the flow going, now the process is engaged. And that's a lot easier to perpetuate and keep it going. So pretty phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing there, Byron. So as, as we wrap this up, here's, you know, we got a lot of people that are just brand new on here. They're just tuning in for the first time. I mean, we got darn near 500 people on here and, um, you know, they're hungry for, um, a change in life. I mean, you know, right. their health, you know, we talk about, you know, there's, uh, there's health and wealth here. Um, but obviously this product is something that's never been seen before. So two things to wrap up with. I know you've said before that, you know, this, this um, discovery, let's call it, was 70 years ago, but being able to bring it in the marketplace has created a significant um, data point, let's say, or change. All right. I want you just to touch on that. And then if you could just end with, if someone called you on the phone and said, okay, I want to try this, what would you tell them to do? And how long would it be? And what would they need to do to measure to start um, so they could actually see where this is happening? Because my, my, my concern is I see people that start and they do get results right away, but I also see people that don't and they think it's not working right. when it really right. is. And now they completely miss maybe one of the biggest health benefits they could have had access to. So right. if you could just touch on just those two things on how impacting this has been for your, your close to 40 years in this space. Right. All right. And then, Here's what my recommendation would be. 
So first thing, you're right. I, I, as I look at being in healthcare for 40 years, and I've told you this and a few other people, you know, there's only been like three or four things that I've seen that dynamically and dramatically can change what happens in the human body. And I think this is one of them, right? When I looked at how this, the essence of what this extract does, this element that we have, that we're taking this into our bodies and we let that do its job, it's phenomenal what can happen, right? So uh, this is what's got me so excited, you know, almost 68 years of age and I'm sitting there going, wow, why couldn't we've had this 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago when I first got started? Doesn't matter. When I looked at the research and we found out that 78.9% of Americans and, that are over 20 years of age and 40% of those under 20 years of age, and I extrapolate that into the world, by the way, which is 65%, are either overweight, obese, or morbidly or severely obese, which means that's going to take their life at some point. And I started to look at this, I'm going, wow, such a time as this. I am so glad that I'm here watching this and able to be a part of this because we have the opportunity to first of all fix our own bodies right and i don't care if you're thin you still have visceral adiposity you still have all these other hormone dysregulations all these things that are going on and then we have the opportunity to help our families and our community and those people that we love that we want to see the quality of their life change and preferably if the quality changes then the quantity can change right and that's between you and god however that works but I start looking at that. So if somebody were to call me and say, okay, Ben, what am I supposed to do? I, I, I want to try this. I want to see what's happening. There's very few rare cases I would not start on two, just personally. So I'm just going to make that a broad statement. I would probably start people on two a day. Why? The research has shown that this can last eight and a half to nine and a half hours of burning, what we call thermogenic effect, continuing to burn, and you're not doing anything. You're just going about your day. You're cleaning the house. You're going to work. You're driving the bus, a car, or whatever, riding horses. Whatever you're doing, it's going to increase the body's ability to clean up a bad fat situation, right? Number two, I would then, first of all, I'd start with either take the Me360 and do your measurements or I would do your scan or actually measure. We have all the, all the paperwork there that you can download and just do all those measurements. I started at doing it once a week, and as I've gone now a couple months and watched all these people, I'm saying every three to four weeks, start it and don't go back to it, because then you'll see some pretty phenomenal things that are dynamically happening, and people are losing that girth and all these other things that are happening, that list of stuff we give, and they are changing their lives. The second thing on that that I would say is give yourself a time commitment. If you have some health issue, give yourself six months to a year. Don't try for four weeks because that's not fair. That's like, you know, trying a relationship for four weeks. You know, well, it didn't do what I wanted to, so I might as well go get a different one. That's just crap. I'm sorry, but that's, you got to let this do this. You got to give the body its ability. We didn't gain all these healthy, unhealthy issues, all these disease entities or processes that our body's dysfunctional. We didn't gain that overnight. It took years, and this is going to take time to clean all these up. That's that's fantastic, Ben. Ben, thank you for coming on here and, uh, you know, pouring into so many people and uh, your energy. And there's a lot of other, um, you know, uh, people that are in your same space that are so excited about this. We're watching. We're just attracting a lot of people like that. Um, and it's just fun to see this. And here's here's the one thing I want people to think about. Number one, my personal belief is we're watching a movement take place and happen. There's a movement. We call it the fixed movement and it's happening and it's spreading very quickly. Um, and you have a choice on here. Number one, you can, your health could be impacted, but also you have other people that need their health impacted. And I believe that you ought to share it with them. And so we do a lot of things to explain this information. We do this on Sunday nights. Uh, it's called our winter circle. And we, um, we do different things on here, but it's to help educate the masses and show them that it's working and there's real value here. All right. Um, also, we just put in the chat, the protocol. You're saying, well, how could I get the protocols that Dr. Ben is talking about? They're in the chat, copy and paste it in there. It's called how to use fix. All right, this would be highly important, all right, on how to use it the right way. Click on the link, pull it up, and you should make sure every one of your customers has it. Every one of your new reps has this 
so they can at least have the advantage of measuring the right way. The Me360 app is in there. All the info is in there. Um, you know, we've evolved from when we launched this, we thought we knew what we had to now we're going like, oh my goodness sakes, this is way bigger than we ever anticipated. And here's what's crazy. We get to bring it to the world. We get to bring it to the world and you could be in front of the freight train of bringing it to the world. I'm thinking a year from now though, all the health benefit, the stories, the, the lives that get impacted, uh, from a health and a wealth standpoint. So just trying to help people, Byron, understand the gravity of being here right now, the responsibility, the, the, the opportunity that we have in the beginning of this to create a what's going to be a global movement because of what you just heard from Sam and Ben about from different perspectives, but seeing the same thing in our world, guys. We just have, I just really hope people can really understand what's how big this can really get and and not to not to play it not to play small but play for the long term guys i just wanted to 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 reiterate that byron more than anything else because my goodness we have a phenomenal opportunity amen yeah this is no longer on trial the fixed movement is here yeah and the fixed movement ain't going away and it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and you'll get to choose how big a piece of it you want because you're here at the beginning of it yeah. All right. Whether that's just for your health or whether that's for your wealth or for both, we want to invite you in. So join us in the fixed movement. We've got Zooms that happen at um, two central and eight central. Um, do the, the, you know, the calculations wherever you live at in the world. We're attracting people from all over the world that are coming on our Zooms. All right. Because they want to know. They want to expose the information. This would be your chance to be in front of the freight train that's coming at you. So uh, jump on board with this. Come on, join the Fix Movement with us. If you're not part of it already, if you are, I believe it's your responsibility to share the movement with some other people. With that, we're going to sign off. Thanks for tuning in.